I think that was mentioned by Governor. If you'd like to respond to the Governor, yeah. you can. I'm going <laughs> to come to you next with the question anyway. You okay, can good. respond in that question. Uh, Here's the, the, going from here. jobs to taxes, and here, here's well, the Well, no, sorry, number. let me respond to that question. To the Gang of Eight bill first. Well, here's the response. If, I think anyone who believes that Barack Obama isn't doing what he's doing on purpose doesn't understand what we're dealing with here. Okay, this is a president. This is a president who is trying to change this country. When he talked about change, he wasn't talking about dealing with our problems. Obamacare was not an accident. The undermining of the Second Amendment is not an accident. The gutting of our military is not an accident. The undermining of America on the global stage is not an accident. Barack Obama is indeed trying to redefine this country. We better understand what we're dealing with here, because that's what Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders want to double down on if they are elected. The governor wasn't talking about the president. He was talking about no, the he gang talked of about Barack Obama. But let me ask you about taxes, uh, yes. Senator Rubio. A recent poll, 68% of Americans favor raising taxes on people making more than a million a year. Are they wrong? I don't know of any problem in America that's going to be fixed with a tax increase. We have an economy today, an economy today that is not creating jobs that pay enough. And one of the reasons why is because we have one of the most expensive business tax rates on the planet. Our combined business tax rate puts us among the highest in the industrialized world. And then on top of that, we are the only one that has a worldwide system of taxation, where an American company who makes money abroad has to pay taxes where they made the money, and then taxes a second time when they bring it back. The combination of these two things has stranded over $2 trillion, the equivalent of the size of the Russian economy. $2 trillion of American corporate money stranded overseas, combined with all of these inversions of companies leaving us. The solution to the problems we have today are not a tax increase. It is to lower our taxes on both people and on companies so that we can make America globally competitive again. Senator Rubio, thank you.